before solving this question you have to know that the column of mercury in the barometer actually actually changes with height the f the higher you go let's say you climb into a high mountain okay the pressure in the mountain there will be actually lower because the air is thinner therefore the mercury column that the pressure can actually support is actually lesser so in a way it can be used to measure altitude so here it's given that pi at sea level the mercury level will be 760 mm of mercury and when you are high up in the mountain here okay the mercury column shows as 230 mm of mercury this gives an indication that the pressure in the mountain there is actually lower now so I <coughs> how do we find the height of the mountain okay so you have to make use of the barometer therefore to find the change the change in the pressure okay using the barometer the mercury the different in height so it will be rho g change of the height so in this case this will be one six one three zero 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 because i need to change this to a kilogram per meter cube okay times g which is 10 and times the height difference so in this case it will be 0 0.76 meters once again you have to change it to si unit meters minus away 0 0.23 meters and using a calculator okay the answer will be 2 72080 pascal okay that <coughs> Because of the height difference of the mercury in the barometer, okay, the height difference actually corresponds to a height pressure difference of 72,080 Pascal. So, as you know that the pressure between this point, okay, and the sea level, the top of the mountain and the sea level is actually 72, about 72,000 Pascal. So, that means to say that I can also equate this pressure here, which is 72,080, is equals to pressure uh pressure due to the column of air okay this rho gh pressure goes rho gh actually is applicable to fluid also applicable to air also so rho gh and but now everything will be in terms of air so this is the density of the air okay if you change to kilogram per meter cube it will be 1.23 times g10 and times the height okay that will actually be the height of the mountain that you want to find and if you continue to solve h equals to 500 5860 meters so that is approximately the height okay it's just an estimation because the relationship is not a direct proportion okay so there's some calibration that you need to do but this is an estimate height of the mountain using a barometer